So I just finished my first year of college and going into the summer, I was like, wow, that is a lot of time in that summer. So I was like, you know what I should do? I should teach myself to 3D model like stupidly well. So I taught myself how to 3D model. Uh, not stupidly well yet. Uh, it's a work in progress, really. The end goal was to have something that I could rig and animate and use maybe in like a short film. So I spent a bit of extra time to make sure it was optimized for that. I modeled this old Dungeons and Dragons monster design I had laying around because it was all nice and floaty and didn't have too many elaborate details. So anyway, here we go into day one. So step one, make a rough reference sheet and then bring that into Blender, start box modeling on top of that, you know, just a cube, some cylinders, move it around till it looks right, and then start sculpting on top of that till you get this really nice skull shape over here that lines up with the reference sheet. Step two, you take your beautiful sculpt over here and you prepare to cry because you're going to turn on wireframe mode and just see all of those triangles. That is a stupid amount of triangles. You cannot animate this. So instead of crying and giving up, you retopologize it, which involves six hours of tedious drawing squares. But you know what? Sure, you have carpal tunnel and your hand hurts, but look, it was worth it. This is animatable. You can do stuff with this. This is a nice, clean, pretty poorly done retopology, because it's like the third I've ever done. Step three. There is no step three. There is only day two. Okay, take five. Blender, please do not crash on me this time. So, you have your retopologized sculpts. Now you add those red lines. We call those seams. That's where you'll be cutting the mesh to flatten it out and turn it into a picture that you can draw on so you can add colors and texture to it. Let me try to select everything again. This is the fifth time. Oh, okay. It half worked. Half the face is there. Anyway, this is a flat image. You can draw on this. You can create horrible UV images that look like this. It's really ugly. But you know what? When you fold it, it looks nice. Oh yeah, and then I fixed the lighting because it used to look like this, which is uh, pretty bland and boring. And look, now we have three lights. We have a blue one in the back, uh, one on top, and then a yellow one on the side. And that looks pretty cool if you ask me. Ooh, look at those textures. That is a nice texture. Day three, the head is pretty much done, so now it's time to do the hands. Okay, so same process as the head, except now I actually have footage of the retopology. So basically step one, reference sheets, boom and boom. Then we did the box modeling, sculpting, and now we're on this step, which you're seeing happen right now. It's the manually drawing all of those rectangles. And to help give you an idea of how much time this usually takes, this video that you're seeing right now is sped up 1,500% according to Premiere Pro. So yeah, that, that's, a, that's a lot of time. I think there are tools that make this faster, but I want to learn how to do it manually first before I start jumping into any of those. Alright, so now we're on day four. Also known as a day I fought my computer and lost. To start, I'm just going to present my adventures in the hand UV unwrapping. Oh yeah. And then I tried to teach myself to do a smoke simulation so I could do the neck and all the foggy bits on the character. But smoke simulations are pretty demanding computer-wise and my computer is weak. So here's a picture of the frame rate because if I tried to film, my computer would definitely crash. Okay, so my computer survived, so we're going to continue 3D modeling until it doesn't. For starters, we have a working smoke test, finally. It doesn't quite look swirly or puffy like the reference yet, so I'm going to work on it. I spent day five giving up on sculpting. I just said... Why retopologize when you can just topologize? So I did a topology without any sculpt behind, and it was pretty okay for this thing right here because it's pretty geometric, not too many organic curves. So you can just follow the reference sheet and be okay most of the time. I wanted to avoid as much retopology as possible because it was a huge time sink. And also I have carpal tunnel, which means my wrist hurts if I sit there and click and drag and use a mouse for too long. So, you know, retopology is sitting there for six hours and using a mouse and clicking and dragging for a while. So that might not be the best thing to do with my wrist. So for the entirety of day five and part of day six, I just topologized using squares and rectangles to build up the body shape. I think overall in the end, I did save time by doing this, even though it's a little bit uh, finicky at the beginning. All right, so after modeling, I, uh, you know, cut up the mesh again, put it onto a flat image, drew on that flat image, and then put it back on a 3D model, and now we have this colored, textured body model. And look at that. The cloth's got little uh, marks on it that I just added as noise on the texture. So after that, I did a bit of material work. So these armory bits on the ribs and that chest piece are more metallic, and the cloth is more cloth-like, so it doesn't reflect as much light. And then that gem in the center is... Uh, emitting light. So overall we get this pretty cool effect. Alright, so we've modeled, we've sculpted, we've retopologized, and we've textured. 
after all of that, I assembled everything together into this semi-complete looking model. Um, yeah, so the hands are in the sleeves, the head's above the shoulders, and everything's all nice and connected. We got some cool new lights going on. It just looks very intense. I got to a little bit of rigging beforehand, so you can see the bones in here, but I'm only capable of making extremely cursed rigs for now, like this. There isn't even a bone on the bottom part of the cloak, it just comes up for no reason. We got all this random jazz happening, so I have to figure out armature and rigging, but you know what? We have some stuff figured out, and I can at least make cursed thumbnails, so I'm counting this as a win. So yeah, after a week, this is my very first complete character model. I'm going to try ricking it at some point, maybe getting it ready for animation, but I think the next project is just going to be another character model just to practice some more. So yeah, thanks for watching and be on the lookout for more 3D stuff from this channel.